It's the Memphis Sports Network. WMC Memphis, WMFS HD2 Bartlett Memphis. WMFS FM and HD1 Bartlett. WMFS Memphis. ESPN 790 AM and 92.9 FM ESPN. The views and opinions of the hosts or guests of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of the management or staff of Intercom Memphis. Watch the sunrise, new days going, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee. We've got woodlands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no better way. You can find. Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. A hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Talking outdoors today on... Uh, November the what is today? What is today? The eighth, eleventh, ninth, eleventh. And what I, I'm is today? I'm not sure. I don't keep up with the dates. <laughs> what is November the eleventh? Huh? You patriotic person over there, Ron Wall. Veterans the Saturday Day before duck season. Uh, the Saturday oh. before duck season. Ron's got a better one. He's got Veterans a better Day. One. Veterans Day. And by the way, thank you to all of the veterans. There you that go. Have provided yeah. us the freedom to do what we get to do. And um, from one veteran to another, yes. thank you very much for your service to this wonderful country. That's right. Amen. Amen. Uh, and, and this is it's also my son's birthday. It's always easy to remember my son. It's just hard to remember how old he is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to remember. No, he can't be that old. But uh, you heard uh, Ron Wong is with us. Of course, this is... Uh, uh ron's time on the second saturday of the month and then that also means we get to hook up with our good friend bill cooksey uh from vanishing paradise and uh bill and i were talking uh before we came on the air this morning talking about uh his job and a lot of people you know they think of vanishing paradise so mm-hmm. explain that bill cooksey well it's a program of the national wildlife federation and we focus on parts of the country where hunting and fishing because of habitat and different things are in peril, uh, like the Mississippi River Delta down in Louisiana. But I've been working on uh, South Florida here lately quite a bit. Yes, tell tell them about that. that We've all seen the toxic algae blooms that show up on the news every now and then Mm -hmm. with beaches getting covered and all. What we don't realize, that same algae covered 240 square miles of Okeechobee last summer. Hear that, Ron? It's killing Okeechobee. No, no, I knew Uh, that. St. Lucie. Uh, uh, which is a huge fishery on the coast, has lost uh, 48,000 acres of seagrass. There's nothing left there to catch other than snook around docks, that sort of thing. Really? The trout and all are gone. Florida Bay is getting there fast. There it's the opposite because the Everglades isn't getting water. It's all going to those other places where everything's places. dying. Yeah. So Florida Bay gets their fresh water from the Everglades. Everglades is slowly drying up because it doesn't get water. And Florida Bay salinity level is now twice its normal levels. It's killing all the sea That's grass scary. out, That's killing all fish, stuff. forcing fish out. I yeah. mean, it, it, it's bad. Yeah. I mean, it's just a, a very small contingent of, of sugar growers who won't bend just a little bit. We can fix this. It, it's it eminently fixable. But, well, but they'll have to bend a little bit and work, you know, with the various, you know, government and private enterprises to take care of the problem. Well, you know, after the hur- uh, Katrina hurricane, 
It's when the vanishing paradise mm-hmm. really came into being. Uh, there were when they got together. Then it was the Louisiana coast that was losing hundreds of yards of land every year uh, because it, of erosion. And after Katrina, I remember sitting in some of their seminars. Um, mm-hmm. that they had at uh, ICAS and also at the uh, BASS Classic talking about, you know, we need to mobilize people to, and get people to understand what's really going on and what's what the effect is, a negative effect on yeah. the eco- uh, R- right, ecosystem. Right now, the Louisiana coast is disappearing at the rate of a football field every 90 minutes. That's that right. was revised that this year. Good yeah. night. Um <laughs> And that, I'm not going to say it's fixable, but it is, there's a lot we can do to help. I mean, currently, right now in the last century, we could fill the Grand Canyon with the the coast that's been lost in Louisiana. No, that's right. Just we, we could actually Just fill the Grand Canyon, yes. Well, you know, and, and another example, you know, the Bassmaster Classic was held in New Orleans, oh, about 10 years ago for the mm-hmm. first time. And Kevin Van Dam won that tournament. No, Mike Iconelli won that tournament yeah. okay. and on some Van islands the off of the uh, out in the marshland there. Mm-hmm. When they went back four years later to that classic that Kevin Van Dam won, um, Mike said he went out to his islands that he was fishing. There were no more. Yep. No more. They were vanishing just like that's yeah. right. You you can put a Navionics chip in and go out and run, and you'll see all this land and show it changes up on your every day. Yes, every ninety minutes mm-hmm. you said. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, a football that's field. Amazing. Ninety minutes. That's an easy thing for most of us to picture. A football that's right. field. That's a lot of land. But not not every, every 90, 90, minutes. ninety minutes is no. It, uh, um, so you're going to end up <laughs> saying some of those places that I've fished for. Uh, redfish or whatever it might be down in the marshes of louisiana which i've done several times mm-hmm. may not even they're not quite they're, possibly open water now open water open mm-hmm. water and silted in that's the other bad thing about it uh that marshlands are going well away we, we need them to fish. silt in we're trying right. to make them silt in to create that land that's what the river historically did and yeah. we'll, that's well, right. and not to take up the whole segment, but here shortly I'm going to have a little video series coming out uh-huh. with Warren Coco, uh-huh. who's a friend of ours. I know that, uh, yeah. Ryan Lambert from uh-huh. Cajun Fishing Adventures right. and a guy from Louisiana Wildlife Federation, uh, Ryan Schaefer. Talking about And they're going to talk about this. It's going to be fun to watch because these yeah. guys hunt, and it, it, it'll, Just it, turn it, it won't on be a drag to too. watch this stuff. So I'll get that to you all to put yeah, up on they LR Outdoors. If, if, they can all know. talk. It's beautiful footage. You'll see ducks. You'll see decoys. It's not a hunt, but these are hunters talking, yeah. and we make that obvious. And again, I'm uh, glad to have everybody listening out there on this second Saturday in uh, November. Of, uh, fascinating uh, thing from uh, Bill and his work with Vanishing Paradise. And I know, as Bill mentioned, uh, you know we're we're gearing down here. I know uh, the muzzleloader season is uh, going in Tennessee. My friend Steve McPherson. Uh, I told you I left after last week's show and headed straight to Macquarie Farm, and sure enough, we, uh, we wasn't there 15 minutes or so, and um, one of the biggest does I've ever seen, uh, Steve put him down, her down. I didn't have a chance to shoot, but uh, my main problem was, please make sure that you have good tires when you go out in the field and it's not too soft, <laughs> okay? Okay? I mean, uh, it happens to a lot of uh-huh. us. And I did get stuck, but uh, you where's put that, the tractor? But that well, it came. Yeah, uh-huh. I, my, uh, Mr. McCrory came with a uh, four wheel drive and a chain, and uh, you know I drove down there real easy to pick that deer up. Didn't have any problem at mm-hmm. all. But once I started coming back up toward the field, a lot of times when you stop, it, you're done. Well, you had to stop That's to pick it. up that deer. Yeah, I, I almost if, didn't. Once get, you yep. get going, you better keep going. That's right. I almost didn't get that deer inside the. We've well, all been there. Oh, really? i okay. I told that to Mr. McCrory too. Mm-hmm. That uh, you know, he said, "Why did you?" Well, just be safe. But uh, one week from today, uh, we will be in the woods, uh, and we will be re- reporting live as we try to kill a deer on the air next week. So get ready for that, and then. Uh, uh, I know it's duck hunting, and uh, first Saturday in hey, December, coming down too. first Saturday in December, they're I here. will be duck hunting live again. And there, Bill just showed me a picture 
We hope we can get Steve, uh, Steve McAdams on talking from Kentucky Lake mm-hmm. uh, about uh, a lot of mallards already here. Yep. And that was two weeks ago. That, that was two weeks ago. Several thousand mallards came so in on those got some, when we had those back-to-back cold fronts. Yeah. and I'm uh, sure there are more now. I'm heading over this afternoon to work on blinds. Well, this is work time, right? Mm-hmm. This is your time this to get time. together. And uh, I know that uh, we're going to talk a lot of fishing on today's show because Ron is here. And I know that uh, if everything goes right, we're going to have uh, – uh, a champion on today's show. That's um, Bradford Beavers, who won the uh, FLW Coastal Series champion uh, uh, out of Ridgefield, South Carolina. He's going to be on. We're going to talk to Bill McDonald, our good friend Bill McDonald. Yeah, I just saw um, Bill uh, last weekend at the Coastal Series championship. I, I was there one day to cover and get some pictures. Go out to lroutdoors.com. And check out the pictures that we got from there. And uh, every other place you've been. I mean, we have pictures. and I, it's I was right. there. Yeah. You know, of course, uh, Table Rock Lake uh, was there for the Costa Media event. Uh, yes. Yeah. Pictures will be coming up there very soon on LROutdoors.com. And we covered the uh, American Crappie Trail hey. National Championship. And we've got and the Angler of the Year on today's show. Oh, the yeah. one and only oh, Ronnie yeah. Capps. Uh, I'll tell you, <laughs> if you know, anybody's talking got more with Ronnie than... <laughs> and Steve, <laughs> yeah. that's quite a story. And, you know, Larry, we've talked about Steve, you know, on the show before. Yeah, with his physical disabilities. And, yeah, and yeah. Uh, Ronnie has stayed with Steve, and Steve, of course, was hurt uh, on the job uh, as a, working at the prison up there in, yep. in Lake County. And uh, and so Ronnie's going to come on. I don't know if anybody, but he could talk a little waterfowl. Yes, too. he can. Yes, yes he, he can. can. Sure, and he's booking trips right now, just like Steve McAdams is booking trips. And then uh, Ty Cox uh, from Hammer Rods. Oh yeah, young Ty. Uh, great video that Ty made about this uh, scholarship that uh, Hammer Rods is going to give to some uh, deserving Mississippi high school That's student. Right. Uh, and Ty will come on. I posted the video on my website. Uh, you know, it was him along with his parents that helped yes, yeah. start the bass fishing team at Etiwamba Community College there also. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yes, yes, and he's, of course, a member of the Etiwamba Community College fishing team. Oh, okay. Well, I know he's a, he's a healthy young man that loves to fish. Yep. And we'll get into that, but uh, I know I want to give you a word. You, you can't miss. I'm telling you, you can't miss the show on Thanksgiving weekend because uh, we have lined up on that show and it's still being put together some of the great, most well-known female outdoors people in the United States are going to be on that all-female show. Can I uh, be on? No, you can't be on. No, no, no. I'm not a female, but no, I, it's no, the only thing more common than Ron and with you food know. is Ron with women. Yeah, well, it's uh, <laughs> wow. it's it's quite a deal here and everything. So uh, well, we are, that's a great deal. That's going to be a Thanksgiving weekend, and they all got great stories. Uh, the only person I couldn't get was Deborah Hinks because uh, she has a, a doctor's appointment that day, and. Uh, so she Deborah, does. or she would be on. So I'm, I'm gonna let you, folks now. You wonder why in the world the, the girl that's on on our pro staff and does things for us <laughs> will not be there. But if you can think of one, Jesse Duff, uh, Jesse is going to be on the show. Uh, oh my goodness, Polly Dean, uh, Tish Jolly. I just go on and on, and we're still Lisa trying to Snugs, hook up. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll tell you, yeah, trying a, to get Kim Brody. All-star. Kim Brody is. Uh, we're still working on Kim. Because she has just got back from the world yeah, of championship. Our friend Melinda Hayes. Melinda and... will be here. I we go on and on. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's I, awesome. I've always wanted to do it, and uh, so that's going to be uh, probably about two every segment if we get everything done right. And Bill just gave me another one. For, I need a duck duck woman, well, <laughs> so to speak. I'll, so I'll talk to Aaron today and get y'all hooked up. Aaron Brown from Louisiana. And, yes, oh, I, I yeah. would like. Yeah, would like to get her in the mix. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's going to be a. Uh, a fun show. I've got so many uh, things going on uh, for that show. But uh, next week, while you're, quack, 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 Abs- I'll be. That's a that's a your grunt. It's oh, tries, okay. It's trash. Burp. Uh, burp, burp. How about you, Ron? You're just glad all of us are out of the, out on the in the woods, right? Ron, the, the, are you still here, Ron? Hey, let's calling talk. Ron Wong. Of course. 
Uh-huh. Here, here's the good thing about my deal, though. What? While you're still cleaning a deer, assuming success, yes, I'll be halfway through breakfast. Yeah, you will. I know it. Yeah. Well, I'll do that on the first Saturday of December. <laughs> <laughs> Pay those out-of-state uh, Arkansas license. Yep. Golly. It hurts more, seems e- like, every year. Every that, year. And, I, and I, now I get to buy one for a kid, too, oh, who's you're, not really a kid anymore, I guess. This is but, not a kid for but you yeah, anymore. Yeah, he, he has to have the big Bill boy license in Arkansas. Now, yeah, is he 16 gosh, now? What 17. Is he? He's 17. 17. He got his new... First new truck. That's right. He's got his truck. Yeah. He's, he's, he's got his truck. They've started trap practice already. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So, yeah. Uh, rolling right along and now. Well, he, he is going to be hunting with you opening day. Uh, he better be. He better he, be. He's huh? going with me today to work on duck blinds. So. Does he know that too? Yep. Okay. All right. How we doing, Stuart Saddles? Can we take a break right now? Let's thank you, Stuart. So Stuart Settles is filling in, and he may, uh, you know, Greg Ratliff is on sabbatical as he works one of his eight jobs. So let's take a break. Come right back on Outdoors with Larry Wright. You can find out all. 